Have now been detained at a protest in support of Gaza that's playing out on that campus. Our Grace Reader is now joining us and is following the latest. Grace, thank you for being here. But just a few moments ago, I saw a tweet from you that a member of a news crew might have been detained by DPS. What can you tell us? That's right, Will. They're in the van here behind me. We were up here closer to the protest. The DPS has just pushed all of these protesters off of the grass in the middle of the plaza here. And as they were doing that, one of the Fox 7 photographers got caught up in that uh, and they did put him in handcuffs. They took his gear and him uh, and that photographer is in this van here to be transported, assumedly uh, to jail. Uh, we talked to him while he was getting while he was walking down this road here and he said that basically he was getting shoved around. Uh, got in the wrong place at the wrong time and, and then ended up in handcuffs. He is not the only person that we have seen be detained here on campus. We have seen uh, probably dozens of people at this point uh, who have been tackled by law enforcement, have been put in handcuffs and, and who have been brought down to this area that I'm standing in right now uh, to be detained. Uh, well, there uh, probably are fewer people uh, on campus now than there were earlier today, but uh, up here on this hill, we're probably a football field from where this protest is still happening and still very active. You know, we're seeing other members of law enforcement there behind you. Is there a ratio that you can describe about how many protesters there are versus the law enforcement presence? When we got here, there were significantly more protesters than there were law enforcement. It appears that state troopers uh, continued to show up, though I would estimate that there were probably 100 state troopers uh, when we last walked down here. The Austin Police Department is here, of course. Uh, UTPD is also here. I would say that now that some of the protesters have started to, to die down and go home, uh, that there's probably more law enforcement at this point than there are protesters. All right, that's very interesting. You know, we're gathering reaction to all of this as it's playing out this afternoon. Has UT shared any kind of statement about what's unfolding there? Yes, they have Will, and I'm going to pull it up on my phone so that I can make sure I've got it. Uh, the statement from UT says UT Austin does not tolerate disruptions of campus activities or operations like we have seen at other campuses. This is an important time in our semester with students finishing classes and studying for finals, and we will act first and foremost to allow those critical functions to proceed without interruption. That's something that students didn't mention too, and they said we're trying to study for finals here, but the students argument to counter UT is that the law enforcement presence here is more disruptive than this protest in the first place. All right, Grace Reader, thank you again for joining us on campus there, and we'll follow along with your reporting later into this evening. We appreciate it.